When I got to college, I realized I needed to make a choice. Physics or art? Growing up, art was definitely encouraged in the house. My mom did a lot of knitting, she did a lot of craft projects, and my dad was an architect. So I was always doing lots of art and craft projects growing up. It was something that I really enjoyed, I could put a lot of myself into. And then there was physics, which I also really enjoyed. I'm a very mechanical person, I like figuring out how things work, and I went to a math science high school, so it was all around encouraged. But I really didn't have an idea of what I could do in either, what my career choices were. I had these two unknowns, and when it came down to it, it really wasn't an easy decision. It was two things that I really loved, and ultimately, that's I just wanted to have a career that made me happy. To have gone through the struggle of making the decision, it makes you realize, like, okay, I really want to put every bit of me into this thing. To be really cheesy about it, art kind of held a little bit of a light for me. I do paint differently than other people because of the math and the physics and just that scientific background. I'm not looking to decorate this sculpture. The paint on there, for me, isn't a decoration. I'm painting this like miniature real life scene. I'm trying to make you feel like this is just, you know, a little glimpse into another world. And to do that, all the, all the parts have to fall into place. There can't be any just decorative element for me. For me, it has to really believe what I'm looking at, to believe that this exists in some world. And I think that that's what physics brings to it, is a sense of reality to what you're looking at. One of my college professors once told me that the reason behind the math classes wasn't to learn specifically how to do these math problems. It was to learn how to open my mind and think about things differently. It was a new approach to solving problems. Even though I left physics in college to pursue art, it's still something that follows me every day. It's something that I use all the time. It's something I use in my work. It's something I use in everyday life. Paint is an example of how I look at the world. I mean, everybody paints differently because they look at the world differently. And so the fact that my physics background affects me, it affects the way that I look at the world and it affects the way that I look at painting and approach painting. It's a part of who I am. My name is Kat Sapini, and I'm a lover of the physics in art.